of course. League One title itself went down to the wire as well. Leaders Plymouth were away at Port Vale with second place Ipswich needing to better the Pilgrims' result at Fleetwood. Here's Conlon. Butterworth takes up the play. And he's found a good angle for James Plan. The youngster's through here and scores in the third minute. That's a spanner in the works in the visitors' quest for silverware. Well, the news of Port Vale's goal has clearly reached these Ipswich fans at Highbury Stadium. But now their team has to do their part and win this game. And Fleetwood have been on top early on. Here's Omicheri, who's been lively so far. Sean Rooney is charging forward and he's got inside his man. Pulls it back for Marriott, saved by Walton, who grabs the loose ball with Patterson closing in. He said pre-match it would be an incredible achievement for his team to finish first. But they need a goal. Mayer for Mumba, and that's inadvertently come off plan into the feet of Adam Randall. Plymouth born and bred in front of the travelling fans. What a moment for him. They're currently back at the summit, but if Ipswich score, it changes again. Mumba, brilliant running, fantastic balance. Now it's the excellent right. And here's Joe Edwards at the back post. Captain Fabulous, a fitting scorer. He strengthened their grip on top spot. Well, it won't matter as things stand, but Ipswich have started this second half brighter after a very flat first half. And here's Ladapo, and that is a fine finish from the substitute. Ipswich in front, and that is their 100th goal of the season. The leaders will drop back to second if Vale can equalise. It's the right of Worrell, or it's the left of Conlon. It's a latter, and keeper Callum Burton with an important contribution there. We would have lost only one of their last eight home league games, and they've responded well to going behind. And here's Omicheri again. Marry at the target, Patterson following up, and the ball's not clear, and it's stabbed in. Fleetwood level, thanks to the former Ipswich trainee. A cushion would be welcome to calm those nerves. Callum Wright's had a terrific game. Finazaz gets it from under his feet and scores! 3-1. Is that the goal that clinches the trophy? The atmosphere a little flat among the Ipswich fans now, and Fleetwood have a corner. Patterson will swing it in. Omicheri helps it on, and here's Marriott again. Fleetwood in front. Ipswich heading for perhaps their first league defeat since January. Davis. Deep cross aimed towards Harkness, too high for him. Wes Burns keeps it alive. Chaplin in space. His shot is blocked only as far as Harkness deflected. And it's in, two apiece. Ipswich level. But it won't affect the destination of the title. The Ipswich equaliser irrelevant, really. The Pilgrims faithful are living it up. They know the prize is in the bag. There's confirmation, jubilation for Argyle. They've done it in style. Celebration time for Stephen Schumacher and his team. What a wonderful season. Well, Clark has kept the ball in play, but he hasn't really got it under control, and he's rather lunged in on Glenfield there. And Harry Clark was booked just a few minutes ago, and he could be in trouble here. Yes, he's on his way, I think, and that rather sums up Town's day. They've had a great season, but this has not been the finale they were hoping for. These are the moments you dream about as a player. Joe Edwards holds the League One trophy aloft. 101 points, a record equaling 31 EFL wins. The stuff of champions. This is an unbelievable achievement from a group of staff and a group of players that have worked incredibly hard, probably since the last day of last season, to get this opportunity and try and get ourselves into the championship. Everyone has given everything that we've got and to get over 100 points, 101 points to win the league in what's been an incredibly strong league this season. It's, it's such an amazing achievement. <laughs> Well, congratulations to Stephen Schumacher and Plymouth Argyle there. Brilliant performance from them throughout the season. They're about 20 to 1 in terms of the title behind the likes of MK Dons and Oxford. So they've done it really against the odds. And to get over a century of points, you know, Sam, it's, it's a remarkable achievement. Just a sixth league title as well. What, well, just what 
champions they are, really. Yeah, for, for so many different ingredients. Uh, firstly, the, the, the teams they've been battling with, Sheffield Wednesday and Ipswich, the points for turns they've put on the board to keep going, uh, to be resilient to uh, disappointments, the, the way they bounced back from that Wembley defeat. I thought two colossal away victories relatively recently away at Morecambe off the back of that game at Wembley and then to win the Devon Derby I think catapulted them to these six consecutive wins to take them to the title and I think a, a young manager there that's got authority but also seems to be a really good man manager looks like the, the, the guys really enjoy playing from. I thought a signature victory in terms of coming from behind as well 27 points they've taken after they conceded first the best uh, record in, in the division Loney's on the score sheet once more and I think Again, that says something about the management down there, the the atmosphere they've created, that all these low knees have gone down and just played such remarkable football. Mm. So, brilliant story. Yeah, absolutely fantastic.